Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Despite the snow, the hummingbirds and the Orioles are headed to Manitoba, but they need your help and here with you, you can get them in your yard and feed them properly from preferred perch. Easy for you to say. Mouthful. We got Sherry Versluis joining us. So Sherry, uh, we're talking nectar eaters, not just hummingbirds, but Orioles. Are Orioles, yes, my personal favorite, yeah. The, a lot of people do enjoy feeding these birds, but the biggest mistake they make is putting their feeders up too late. Uh, they don't realize that these birds are here by the end of this month. Okay. So a lot of people don't start feeding them till mid-May or later, and they've kind of missed that arrival time. As we said, whether bad or not, the birds are That's coming. That's right, yes. So I'm recommending people start putting these things out next week. And this guy is specifically for the Orioles? Yes, these are the Oriole nectar feeders. Okay. And with nectar, we mean sugar water. Um, there is, the best way to offer that is by making it yourself with just plain white sugar. Okay, it's, so... Four cups of water to one cup of white sugar. Four to one that's water right. sugar, okay. That's right, and no food colorings or anything. That's another myth about adding food coloring to both Oriole and Hummingbird feeders, but it's actually very toxic to them. Oh my. The feeders are designed to attract them. You can see how bright and colorful they are. So coloring the nectar is not necessary. Okay. And it should be changed at least once a week, except in our very hot temperatures, even twice a week. Think of your own sugary drink sitting outside after a couple days if you would enjoy drinking that so okay. obviously it goes stale. So, so we're putting the right stuff in the right feeder. Does location change for the hummingbirds? Well hummingbird and orioles are a little bit more timid so you don't want them too close to your seed feeders if you still have seed feeders out. So Because big birds and squirrels can keep the little guys away. Yes. Okay yeah. makes sense? So hanging these very close to the house is great because both hummingbirds and orioles are extremely beautiful and colorful so close to the house is good. They're not afraid to be right up to the window. In fact, these two hummingbird feeders here actually suction cup right onto the window yeah, so, this so one, that you can uh, see them right it. up close. Yeah. So this one actually hangs like yep, so? No, like this. There oh, we go. Sweet. Yeah, so that's how it would be on the window. So the hummingbirds would perch on the edges there and drink the nectar. And they get a little tiny spot. Yeah. And, and they all come with a little brush, I've noticed. Yes, cleaning these feeders is very important because the sugar water does mold, and mold obviously is not healthy to be ingesting. So there's little brushes to make sure you can clean in the holes and keep it clean and fresh. Okay, and then of course, oh sorry? No, go ahead. And then there's the other style feeders, which are your generic hanging styles. Um, if you look on the bottom of that one, you'll also see there's a hole underneath so that you can actually mount it on a pole rather than hanging, and that way you don't get motion. I find when they're stable, the hummingbirds spend a lot more time at them. All right. I've observed hummingbirds preening themselves and stretching, and I've even heard a hummingbird sneeze outside my window. What is, can I, I hate to say, what does it sound like? <laughs> it is just the littlest squeak you've ever heard, and, and they kind of shook their head and thought, oh, <laughs> so it was great. <laughs> I know. Is it seasonal allergies? Are they I, that's what oh, I thought. The ragweed's killing me. That's what I wondered. <laughs> so. Quickly, before I let you go, we also want to talk uh, a ba bath, uh, bats for small birds as well. Yes. Because they don't like the great big things. They're nervous of those big deep water bowls. So these are just nice little small dishes that all the little birds can bathe and drink from. There you go. Something little to keep the uh, the your feathered friends happy mm -hmm. and healthy and well fed despite the spring. What a great sign of spring yes. when <laughs> when you look out and you see those hummingbirds in front of the snowbank. Oh, they're coming. <laughs> they're, they're coming. Coming whether the weather changes or not. All the information on preferred perch you'll find on mm -hmm. breakfasttelevision.ca. All the weather information. There's Jenna Khan.